Hi, and welcome to lesson four here in our acids and bases unit. In lesson four, we're going to look at a different definition of acids and bases, the Bronsted Lowry definition. Let's go in and take a look. So here are the men themselves, Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Martin Lowry, and they came up with a different definition independently. According to the Bronsted Lowry definition, an acid is any substance that donates a proton in solution, and a base is any substance that accepts a proton. This is a little bit different than the Arrhenius definition, which dealt with hydronium and hydroxide ions. Bronsted Lowry are only looking at the behavior of substances with regard to protons. Let's take a look at how this works. The Bronsted Lowry definition is definitely a little bit weirder than the Arrhenius definition. Here we see a reaction between water and ammonia to produce a hydroxide ion and an ammonium ion. If we look at what's happening between water and ammonia, we can see that water is donating a proton to ammonia. As a result, it's acting as an acid. If we were to look at the reverse reaction, we'd see that ammonium would have to donate its proton back to hydroxide to turn it back into water. In that case, ammonium is acting as the acid and the hydroxide ion is acting as the base. Because of this, you might notice that water starts as an acid, but it becomes a hydroxide ion that acts as a base in the reverse reaction. Similarly, ammonia starts as a base, but it becomes an ammonium ion, which would act as an acid in the reverse reaction. This is characteristic of Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Each substance that acts as an acid in the forward reaction would act as a base in the reverse reaction, and vice versa. The term for this is conjugate acid-base pairs. The two forms of a particular substance acting as a Bronsted-Lowry acid and then a base in a Bronsted-Lowry acid-base equilibrium. The Bronsted-Lowry definition gets even weirder. So here we see two water molecules. And my question to you is, what is water? Is it an acid or is it a base? The answer is that it's actually both. In our forward reaction, one water molecule donates a proton to the other water molecule. The proton donor is the acid and the proton acceptor is the base. This is totally allowable in Bronsted-Lowry definitions. The term for this is an amphoteric substance. It's any substance that can act as both an acid and a base in Bronsted-Lowry chemistry. There's even a weirder definition of acids and bases, which is the Lewis acid base definition, named after Gilbert Newton Lewis, who advanced this definition. A Lewis acid accepts a pair of electrons and a Lewis base donates a pair of electrons. You really don't need to worry too much about the Lewis definition of acids and bases, but you should be aware that it exists. Thanks so much for watching our discussion of Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. Make sure you can do the following things here at the end. Make sure that you can use the Bronsted-Lowry definition to identify Bronsted-Lowry acids and Bronsted-Lowry bases. Also make sure that you can identify the conjugate acid-base pairs in a Bronsted-Lowry equilibrium. Finally, make sure that you can explain the concept of an amphoteric substance. If you can do all these things, you're doing great. If not, that's okay too. Take a minute and write down any questions that you have. You can always leave them in the comments below the video and you can always get in touch with me. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.